hello everyone it is grace welcome back to my youtube channel today's vlog well not today's vlog this vlog is going to last for like a good week i want to say because i'm going to try and vlog the whole of my christmas so to be honest with you this year i've just not felt christmasy like i just really haven't i think because obviously i'm in tier four so i can't see anyone but my family that i live with I just haven't really been feeling it this year and it's the 21st and I still haven't put my tree up. I'm going to try and get myself in the festive spirit. I also want to watch the holiday tonight. This is so off topic but I wanted to tell you all. You know I always go on about my hair. In this light it looks so red which it isn't. I think it's just because the room's pink. I'm going to try and go back to my old hair colour. So I've had loads of kind of highlights put through it. Well not loads, a couple just to sort of ease me into it. But in January I'm going to stop dyeing it dark so i'll just keep getting highlights and fingers crossed it's going to kind of look like my old colors i know it can be really hard to go back to that sort of mousy brown color but i know a lot of you oh my god that looks so pink what the hell i do get a lot of comments saying oh i miss your old hair color and that triggers me because i do as well i do kind of low-key wish i never dyed it but then i also feel it's weird i also feel more confident with dark hair and i feel like everyone's dyeing their hair dark at the minute so I don't know whether to stay dark or to go light brown. Comment down below. I know I've asked it about 400 times, but I do miss my old hair colour. Sorry for that rant. Also, another apology I need to make for my skin. My skin's not been this bad in so long. And you know when it's like sore as well? Like I just feel so run down. And I just, I want to get in the festive spirit. But I don't know if I can. But we're going to. Anyway, enough said. Let's go put up my tree. Okay, so I've got the tree in a box in my room and I forgot how heavy and huge it is. But this one is green with white frosting on it. So it's really nice. It looks real. Is I actually don't know how to put it together because it's all different parts. I'm really confused. I may have to call my dad up for assistance because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm guessing this is the bottom of it. There's so many different compartments. I don't know what I'm doing. Ah! My dad's watching football, so I'm going to have to fend for myself. I'm guessing that this part is the main part and it's going on the base because it's it's huge, this bit. I think I got it all wrong. She's up. She's here. She's going to look like a candy world. I remember last year I went to this garden centre and they had the most incredible decorations. And I wish I went there this year before, obviously, all of the tier things. But it was the most incredible place. Like they had they had every single decoration you could ever imagine. And they had all these different displays. So like say say you liked gold decorations, there was a section for gold or there was a section for reds or blues or pinks. Honestly, it was the most amazing place. And that's where I got this feather boa from. I'm sure I'm sure you can get them elsewhere, but that's where I got these from. I got a couple of them actually. Say you believe it. Say you believe it. Free your mind of dark and danger. Make love to your baby. I got these roses last year from the garden centre. They're just stunning. And then I got these other ones as well, these big flowers. A couple of those. And I got these different roses as well. These ones here have like rose gold around them. Okay, so it's already looking quite full. So we've got the um, flowers on it. Um, these ones I think are a bit more delicate actually. They're in a box. I got these at the garden centre as well. I think I got this horse sleigh as well. Cinderella cart or whatever it is, which I think is so cute. she is i actually can't deal sorry it's not focusing i just need a topper now but i'll probably wait till next year to get that because there's no point now but yeah just as i planned we've got the holiday on i can't wait this film makes me feel so festive i've got my tea and then i've got these raffaello things which guys they're so good they're like i can't even talk about them they're so good he looks like a bear he's had his hair cut today look at his ears <gasps> It is what day is it it's tuesday i've just got ready and it's 
like four o'clock. Well, I woke up at 12 and then I got on Instagram and I was addicted to doing. You put on your story, show me a photo of, and then it's like your happiest memory, this, that. And it can take up hours of your day. So I was just doing that for hours, lost track of time. And it's four o'clock all of a sudden. So I'm making myself some lunch. Few nights nice four o'clock. Got a job to do. I need to do an unboxing on my stories for a brand called Glossy Box. I have to unbox it. I'm gonna set my phone up by my Christmas tree. I think it's like half five. I'm just editing them. Oh, I also did a TikTok as well. Let me just save these and I'll show you it. I'm gonna show you what TikTok I made. I wanna start making TikToks every day and I always say I'm gonna do it, but I never do. For dinner, I am having an M&S packet meal. What have I got? Oh my god. Christmas tree crumpet. I do love crumpet. I've got ham and mushroom tagliatelle. So before I put my pyjamas on and go and have my dinner, I'm going to show you my outfit. I like to always show you what I wear when I'm doing a vlog. So this is my outfit. I'm wearing my pearly earrings from Shein. I actually get Christians on these a lot. And what I love about them, they give me like Chanel 90s vibes. So that's why I wear those. They were literally £1.50 from Shein. And I think they look really expensive. I've got a roll neck on. This one is from Zara. I look like I'm in pyjamas, let's be real, but we always have to show my outfit. I'm also wearing these pants. These are from Zara and they're part of a lounge set. This is actually the top to it. It's so easy and comfy to put on. Like I don't want to sit around in jeans. So if I want to look nice but not wear jeans, then I wear this. And it's in this gorgeous like camel colour. Yeah, that's my little lounge set. But I'm wearing the trousers to it today just because I wanted to switch things up. Because I always wear it together and I got bored of it. <laughs> I'm just editing me and Grace's Christmas vlog when we went to London. Another Christmas film tonight. We're watching the National Lampoon's Christmas. Yeah. So we're on to outfit number two. I've gone with a headband, my trench coat, and then this jumper, which I got from Zara. And then my black skirt and my black boots. All my hair's dropped as well. Looking forward to getting this outfit. I'll show you the house as well, because it's amazing. Wouldn't you like to live here? And then these are all the grounds. This is my last outfit. The beret is back. A bit dusty but it's back and then i'm wearing this tweed set which i found on h&m i was just on the whim like looking on there and then i found this and i thought it was so cute because 
Zara haven't really been doing many this year and I've sort of missed them. So, I, and I really like this one because it gave me like Chanel vibes with the black and crew. The light was actually really nice because the sun was shining on it and we just took pictures against the pillar. I'm actually really looking forward to getting home and having a look at all the pictures. This lighting is so cute. It's, the sun's kind of setting and it's only two o'clock, which makes me laugh, but um, I feel like I'm at the White House. So I got home about an hour ago, two hours ago now. What I've been doing is I picked out my pictures that I wanted to post. Let me show you which ones I put up. So yeah, I just went for this outfit because I thought, hold on. I thought that um, it was just the first one I took, so I just felt like posting it. But um, I'm trying to start a theme. So as you can see, I don't really post a lot. But I'm trying to start like a theme with pinks, blacks and nudes. And like just a neutral theme with like pops of pale pink but i don't know if it's gonna work because i always end up ruining it like back here i had a little bit of a theme going a little bit of a theme going and then it gets ruined but i feel like i couldn't not post that picture and then it just went a bit peat tong from there really but from here <laughs> from here i'm really trying with my theme so i went and got my pjs on now i need to clear up these photos and i need to um, edit the thumbnail and I need to put up me and Grace's new vlog that I was editing last night and we're gonna watch Love Actually tonight which I'm so excited for because I think it actually is one of my favourite Christmas films. So this was the thumbnail that I ended up making. Make sure you go watch it if you haven't. It's on Grace and Grace channel. We're watching Love Actually. Hello everyone, it's Christmas Eve. Hello. We're going for a walk today. We're going to Highlands again because my dad really liked it and we'd never been there for some reason so we're going for a walk with the dog today. Normally we'd be in London and we planned on going for dinner and going and seeing the lights but obviously nothing's open in London so we're not. Oh I need to show you my outfit. So this is my coat from Revolve. I always go on about this coat because I love it so much. It just, I love it. It's not real fur, but it looks kind of real. I've got this top on from H&M. Gone for a no makeup look, because I just couldn't be bothered. I'm going for a walk, I don't need to take on a full face. I've got my Topshop leather leggings on, and just as I got in the car, I realized they've got a rip in them, which I'm really annoyed about. And then I've got my chunky boots on, just because I feel they can get muddy, I don't really mind. But they don't really go in the outfit, they kind of really be the look. But it's fine, we're only going for a walk. Reason. I thought I'd be warm in this, like, because I'm used to kind of, I don't know, I feel like I always end up more hot than cold, so I just thought, I'm going to be boiling this, I've got a fluffy top on, and my fairy coat, but I'm actually really, 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 really cold. I've not been this cold in ages, I think it's because I've not been out in so long. <laughs> Look at him, he's laying down. What is, is what is that? Is he's barking at the plastic reindeer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what is that? Guess it. What is it? What is it? What is it? We just want to queue for a hot chocolate. Look how pretty it is here. <laughs> Oh my god, I look so rough. We've just got back from dropping everyone's presents off. We literally just put it at their doorstep. I am so cold, I feel like I've caught hypothermia. Made myself a tea and I just look so rough, like, I'm sorry. What is going on? I'm still freezing, I'm trying to like, warm myself up. I get the vibe that it's going to snow soon because it is freezing. So tonight we're having beef wellington. It doesn't look as appealing as <laughs> the box. We're hoping it lives up to the one that we had at the Ritz. I doubt it. But really yeah, much. I, I do highly doubt it. But it's going to be really nice. It's going to be nice. It's like the posh M&S section. So it's going to be nice. That is our Christmas Eve dinner. Look how cute the table is. Got our crackers. Are we having these tonight? No, They're for tomorrow. tomorrow. Got the wreath, the gold plates. It just doesn't feel like Christmas Eve because it's not our usual traditions. But I don't mind that. I mean... We can't do our normal traditions, but I don't know, it just doesn't feel, it does feel like Christmas Eve. I feel festive, but 
at the same time it doesn't. Yeah, it was sad going to everyone's doorsteps. our Christmas tradition to get new pyjamas every Christmas so I've got Disney ones with we've all got Disney ones I think this year and they're really festive oh, I'm Matthew and Jace yeah. <laughs> and I'm munching on these macarons that Grace got me watching a Hamlin's documentary now I'm not really watching it I'm sort of just on my phone but I posted a really cute picture of my tree earlier it's half 11 on Christmas Eve and I still have wrapped no presents so that's what I'm going to do now. This one's for my mum. This one's for my dad. Let's try and wrap them all before Christmas Day. We're going downstairs to see the presents. <laughs> wow, oh my god, there's so many. Wow. Wow. There's so many. What you got by the teeth? Nancy, look. What you got? What's up there? My mum is hilarious. What is it? What is it? What is it? Have a look. Oh. Oh my god, it's like he's our baby. <laughs> Sausage that he got from his box. What so. <laughs> Every year, Dad gets the pantone out, and he's the only one that eats it. It actually is looking kind of sexy, though. But it's only half nine, so I don't know if I can stomach a cake. But. Every year without fail, it's Elvis Panettone. It is Christmas morning. So guys, I'm ready. I think it's about one o'clock now. I'm just in my robe still because I'm a bit undecided on what to wear. This morning we just opened the presents as you saw. I think uh, our Christmas lunch is nearly ready so I need to hurry up and get ready. I've got a couple of bottom options for the outfit. I'm not sure which one would look nicer because one's a bit more dressy and then one's a bit more casual. I feel like the casual one goes a bit better. This outfit, two of the things I actually got for Christmas. It's part of my presents. A little sneak peek. So I'm definitely going to wear this jumper probably with like a bodysuit underneath it. And I'm going to wear it as a cardigan. But it has all of these Diamante buttons going down it, which I think are just incredible. And then I'm going to wear it with my Diamante Chanel shoes. And either this skirt, which I got from Zara, which I did plan on wearing for New Year's Eve. But now it's looking like we're not having a New Year's Eve. So I'm thinking maybe I should just wear it today. Or I have this tweed sculpt that my mum got me in this like black metallic colour I really don't know which one to wear okay so I went with the black jumper obviously and then I put it on with the tweed skirt because I did a poll on Instagram and everyone was saying the tweed skirt so this is what I'm wearing with the Gucci tights and then the Diamante heels they don't go as well as I thought they would but I mean I can't not wear them I just can't not wear so I think I'm just going to walk around for a bit in them and then take them off once I feel like I've pranced around enough in them. So it is now like nine o'clock. We've opened all our presents. Um, we sat down in our pajamas. These are the ones I got my mum. Very nice. From HA Designs. We're sort of matching. They're the same kind of style. I've got my pudding. Oh my God, you're gonna laugh when you see this. I know it's a bit wrong, but I will. Really it's on there fun. now. It's not Christmas Day if you don't watch the EastEnders special, is it? And we always moan about every year how depressing it is, but every single year without fail we watch it. Not gonna lie, Ian Bill is my least favorite character in the world. He's so irritating. So I'm not saying I'd be glad if he died, but I'm not saying every two to <laughs> He's so his character. I'm sure the man that plays him is lovely, but his character is so irritating <laughs> it's now boxing day um it's at two o'clock and i'm still in my pajamas i hope you all had a really good christmas if you want to see what i got then i always do what i got for my christmas with grace 
on our channel so go watch that that should be up in a couple of days i think i will see you all in my next one merry christmas Mwah.